Have you ever pictured yourself when you're old? How would you be leading your life? Would you be worrying that your family is going to send you to an old folks home permanently and not bother about you anymore? We did a project on the aging population and volunteered at the old folks home known as Lin Kuang Home for Senior Citizens. It was an eye-opening experience and we interacted with the senior citizens. We played mahjong with them and had a chat with them and brought them up for work. We also had a chance to interview the staff, CEO as well as one of the residents at our folks home. It was really disheartening to interview the residents as well as the CEO. After speaking with the CEO, we learned that all the residents that were sent here were already in the last stage of their illnesses. The system was designed this way so that hospitals can focus on those who can be saved for more efficient use of resources. Now, the CEO actually pointed out to us that the, their biggest problem was staffing. Now, the reason why is because it is an undesirable and ungrammous job. For example, the nurses have, have to clean up after the old folks. Some of them are unable to do even the basic functions like eating and going to the toilet. This is despite the fact that they are actually paid quite a high salary and are offered a lot of privileges like, for example, lodging, food and laundry. In fact, the entire fourth level of the home is dedicated to the staff. Now, this actually restricts the number of foreign workers that they can hire because of the quota imposed by MOM. And in addition to this, there is also a very high staff, staff turnover as most of the nurses are unwilling to stay. So, mainly from Myanmar, India and Philippines are unable to communicate with the residents as most of the residents speak the local dialects, Hokkien and Cantonese. This poses a large problem for the residents as they are unable to communicate with the helpers on how they feel whether they are comfortable or in pain and so on. The home has tried to rectify this by providing dialect lessons for the staff, but there is a lack of such teachers. In addition, the high staff turnover means that the staff who were previously trained to speak dialect left and they have to train the staff all over again. With this, we hope to bring across a message to everyone to put themselves in the elderly shoes and understand their plight. We also hope that everyone can do their part in helping the aging population by taking care of their parents and setting a good example for the next generation to follow.